BPro tutorial for beginners. Hi guys, this is Speak About Digital and welcome to this video tutorial on how to use BPro, the no-code email design tool and landing page builder. BPro is a powerful and easy way to create beautiful, high-performing emails and pages that will boost your conversions and engagement. We have a lot to cover in this video, so let's get started with the tutorial. To begin using BPro, the first step is to create an account. You will find the link down below in the description, so go to the description of this video and click on the first link you find there. This will take you to the correct home page. Once you're on the home page, locate the Get B Free button on the website home page and click on it. This will redirect you to the registration page. On the registration page, you will find options to sign up using your Google account, Microsoft account, or your email address. Choose the option that best suits your preferences or is most convenient for you and proceed with the sign-up process accordingly. Once you have successfully signed up, you will be taken to your account dashboard. This dashboard serves as a central hub where you can access various features and tools provided by BPro. When you access your account dashboard in BPro, you will notice that it has a simple and intuitive design, making it easy to navigate. The dashboard features a top menu that contains several tabs, each serving a specific purpose. The first tab is labeled Projects. Here you have the option to create a new project or view the projects you have already created. This tab provides an organized overview of your projects, allowing you to easily access and manage them. The next tab is called Library, which is further divided into two sections, My Templates and My Rows. In the My Templates section, you can find the templates you have created. If you haven't created any templates yet, this section will be empty. To create a new template, simply click on the Create a New Template button. The My Rows section displays the rows you have saved. You can save rows from emails or pages, such as headers, footers, and other elements for easy reusability in the future projects. Under the Settings tab, you can manage various aspects of your account. This includes general settings like domain configuration, tags, special links, template catalog, display conditions, and the order of row categories. Additionally, within the settings, you can customize styles, typography, titles, previews, text, buttons, and more. The Connectors section within Settings allows you to integrate BPro with other applications and services such as ActiveCampaign, Amazon SES, Acumen, Brevo, Gmail, and more, enhancing the functionality and connectivity of your email marketing workflows. The Notification tab provides a space where you can review direct notifications and stay updated with any important information or updates related to your BPro account. Lastly, the Settings tab, separate from the earlier mentioned settings, allows you to manage your overall account settings, including projects, subscriptions, and users. This section provides a centralized location to handle administrative tasks and configures various account-related preferences. Next, let's see how to create a new project in BPro. To create a new project in BPro, start by navigating to the top menu of the dashboard and clicking on the Projects tab. Once you're on the Projects tab, you will see a list of existing projects that you have created. If you haven't created any projects yet, the tab will be empty and you will only have the option to create a new project. To create a new project, click on the Create New button. Clicking on this button will open a new window where you will need to select what you want to create. The window will provide different options such as creating a new email, a new page, a new folder, or importing from another account. In this case, we will click on the first option, which is Create a New Email. By clicking on it, you will be redirected to a new page. On the new page, you will have to choose whether you want to start from scratch or use a template. If you click on Start from Scratch, you will need to design your email entirely from scratch, according to your preferences. However, if you prefer to use a template, select the template you want to customize and click on it. Let's say you want to customize the first template available, so click on it. It may take a moment to load, but once it does, you will be directed to the editor where you can customize the template according to your preferences. When you access the editor in BPro, you will notice that it is primarily divided into two sections, the right panel and the main canvas. These sections provide you with the necessary tools and options to customize your design. The right panel is further divided into three sections, content, rows, and settings. In the content section, you can add various types of content to your design, such as titles, paragraphs, lists, images, buttons, dividers, and more. This section allows you to easily insert and edit different elements within your template. 
The rows section contains a collection of rows that you can add to your design. Rows are pre-designed sections that can be used to structure your template. By selecting and adding rows, you can quickly create a visually appealing layout for your content. The settings section within the right panel allows you to configure additional settings for your design. Here you can adjust the content area width, content alignment, background color, content background color, background image, font styles, and more. These settings give you greater control over the visual aspects and overall aesthetic of your template. If you find that you need more space to focus on your design, you can click on the arrow sign to hide or rehide the panel. This feature allows you to maximize the canvas area and provides a distraction-free environment for your creative process. The main canvas section is the primary area where your template resides. It serves as the canvas on which you can design and arrange your elements. Here you can drag and drop content blocks, adjust their positioning, resize them, and fine-tune the overall layout of your template. The canvas section offers a visual representation of how your template will appear when it is sent out as an email. Customizing the template in BPro is a straightforward process. To begin, you can easily change the name of the template. Navigate to the top left menu and select My New Email and replace it with your desired name. This allows you to personalize the template and make it more identifiable. The template you have selected is divided into sections. By clicking on any section, you will see three different options appear. Add a comment, delete the section, or duplicate it. These options provide flexibility in managing and modifying the sections of the template. Furthermore, when you click on a section, the right panel will open specifically for that section. In the right panel, you can customize the selected section according to your preferences. The options available in the right panel vary depending on the type of section you have selected. For instance, let's say you click on the first section of the template. As a result, the right panel will display different customization options for that section. If you wish to increase or decrease the width of the section, you can simply drag the circle over the line to adjust the percentage accordingly. Additionally, you can change the alignment of the section by selecting the left, center, or right align option, allowing you to align the content based on your preferences. If you want to change the image within a section, you can click on the Change Image button in the right panel. This will enable you to upload an image from your computer. Alternatively, you can import an image or search for free photos directly within BPro, providing you with a convenient way to update visuals in your template. You have the flexibility to customize the other sections of your template using the same method described earlier. By clicking on each section, you can access the corresponding right panel and make the necessary modifications to suit your preferences. This allows you to customize the entire template according to your desired design and content. Once you have finished customizing the entire template, you can preview it to see how it looks before finalizing it. To do this, click on the Preview button located at the top left side of the editor. This will display a preview of your template, giving you an opportunity to review and make any additional adjustments if needed. If you want to send a test email to see how it appears in an actual inbox, you can use the Send Test option located next to the Preview button. When you click on Send Test, a pop-up window will appear where you can enter up to five email addresses, separated by commas, to which you want to send the test email. After entering the email addresses, click on the Send button to send the email. Sending a test email allows you to evaluate how your design renders in various email clients and check for any issues or discrepancies that may arise. It gives you a chance to ensure that your email looks as intended and functions correctly across different platforms and devices. And there you have it, a beginner's guide to using BPro to create beautiful and responsive emails and pages. If you want to try it out for yourself, you can sign up using the first link in the description. I would really appreciate that. Thank you. I hope you found it useful and learned something new. So again, if you found this video helpful, please give me a thumbs up, and if you have any questions at all, please comment below. I try to answer all the comments the best I can. Thanks for watching and take care.